Hello, and welcome back to Gemini Jets 2006. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Gemini Jets uh, 2020 May release, Lufthansa 747-8. Now, uh, before the video starts, um, as the time of filming this, this is the first Lufthansa 747-8, the new Gemini Jets May release on YouTube. So um, make sure to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, let's hop right into it. Starting with the front of the box, we have a computer-generated image of the Lufthansa 747-8. Looks very nice. Um, Gemini Jets, made for collectors by collectors, Tansa logo, Boeing 747-8, registration Delta, Alpha, Bravo, Yankee, Charlie. Um, then if we look inside, we can see here uh, some information. You can pause if you want to read that. And then um, here we have the uh, information about this specific model. And looking down, we have the aircraft. It is very large. Um, moving on to the side of the box, uh, registration, aircraft, um, image, Gemini Jets, um, adult collectible model, contains small parts unsuitable for children under 14 years of age. Sorry if the camera just shook, just had a weird muscle spasm. Uh, registration, same as the other side on the bottom. 1 to 400 scale diecast model, highly collectible, superior quality, realistic metal landing gear, detailed printed graphics, as well as like its features. Gemini Jets. On the back of the box, we have an image of it climbing, or a computer generated image of it climbing. This is the first one that I've seen where Gemini Jets does do these uh, special boxes. This is a all silver box with the blue font. Usually their normal box is just a blue with white font. Uh, this one However, it does still have the image of a climbing, but there's no cloud or sky in the background, which I think is interesting. Um, as real as it gets, highly collectible. I already read that. Uh, there's their social medias. Lufthansa, officially licensed product. Uh, produced under license from the Boeing management company, 747 and Boeing are among the trademarks owned by Boeing. 2020 Gemini Jets, Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Um, so let's open the box. I am sorry. Because um, if it's shaking, because I did want this to be the first review on YouTube, and it just came in the mail, like, less than a minute ago. So I just ripped it out of the box and ran up here. Um, but my phone wasn't charged, so I have this portable charger that's connected to the phone with a cable. So if the video is shaky, it's because it is connected and it's charging right now. Okay, um, going on to the box opening. Uh, same as always, this is a very large box. Uh, let me just get, like, a coin here. Here's an American penny compared to this box. It's very large. Put that down. And then, um, yeah, so let's open this. Uh, pull under. This tab pulls out. Grab this tray, pull it out. Uh, the box can be put to the side. There's the aircraft. And then the plastic over it uh, slides off. Sorry if this video quality is pretty bad. Let me just turn on some lights. There we go. I'm going to go off camera for a second and open this. It's tight. Um, I have realized or noticed that recently the Gemini Jets boxes have been more tightly packed. So here it is. Uh, take this little plastic sheet off. And there is the model. This is the first aircraft that I have. First four-engined aircraft that I have. Uh, so let's get into the review. I guess starting with the nose. Um, very long nose, uh, of course. And then the cockpit um, on the second level. Uh, moving back a little bit, Star Alliance. Uh, that would be business class, I do believe, is on the second floor on Lufthansa's configuration. And there is a door. Then it says Lufthansa. Um, then we have the two uh, doors on the right side of the aircraft, cargo door, the landing gear. This landing gear does look bigger and a little bit better than um, than the last 747-8 I've seen. I don't actually own any, but I've seen one, and this I think this is different. It looks a little bit better if it is different. 
Um, then we have the first class way up in front of the nose. Then um, we have the Lufthansa logo. Moving back, the hump ends here. Uh, that is very nicely molded. Um, here we have, just moving back, doors, um, then the uh, luggage and cargo do bay doors, registration, Delta, Alpha, Bravo, Yankee, Charlie. Um, then the, here is the wing, uh, silver leading edge like in most aircraft. The engines look very nicely molded. These engine, well this engine is actually slanted down a little bit. It's a little bit unfortunate. I'm not sure why that happened. Um, then moving over to the back, we have the uh, vertical stabilizer and the elevators. Uh, vertical stabilizer is the Euro white, uh, just dash of uh, deep blue with the Lufthansa logo on it. Um, then moving to the very back, you can see they have painted the rear strobe light, and there is actually the little exhaust pipe there, which is interesting. Um, if you look on the top of the aircraft, there are antennas, a Wi-Fi box, and uh, another antenna. I'm going to flip it upside down. Here, Gemini Jets logo, the bottom looks all white. Four sets of landing gear, two on the wings, two on the fuselage. Um, here you can see all the flap actuators, uh, slats, you can see those have little slits to represent those. Landing lights, and then moving up, there's the forward landing gear, then moving back down, just to the tail. Um, then let's look at the other side. This is the side that you would board from. Uh, pretty much identical to the other side. Um, I don't see any real differences. There are two windows that extend all the way to the back here, and on this side there's not those two windows. Um, looking at the front, it is a very slim aircraft, but that is what the 747 is. Uh, the cockpit looks nice. You can see rearview mirror molding. Well, not molding, just a paint there. And, um, yeah, this is a very nice model. Um, it's very heavy. I'm not, I don't have a scale with me. I'll make sure to do that next time I review a plane. Uh, but for scale, here is a nickel. Just had to make sure. Uh, compared to the aircraft. So, um, let me just put it over in my dual jet bridge. Uh, which is where this aircraft is going to spend most of its time. So um, let me just do that and I'll show you how it looks with the airport. And here's the model in the jet bridge, not going to lie. That, this jet bridge, it might be the jet bridge, it might be the model. But this jet bridge is the single most annoying thing to try to hook up to any aircraft. Because it's in this little joint here and it just doesn't work. It's just a piece of crap joint. So it's, you can see that the... It's actually in the air. I didn't think this would be a real issue. But yeah, you can see that right there. That's in the air. Um, but I did get it. And it's probably going to fall off a million times. And I do kind of hate how that jet bridge works. But I got it. Um, so I did take my biggest model, put it next to here just to see... If this fit, it does fit, so I probably could even put another 747 if I tilted it the right way here. Um, but I'm not sure I want to do that. Uh, it looks good with the jet bridge. Um, the fuselage doesn't quite fit with the shape of the jet bridges. That is kind of annoying. So they, they are in the air a little bit. And it, they do have to be really high up. Like if you look at the wheels on any of these... They're really close to the ground, but with this, these ones are like a mile up. It's kind of super annoying. Um, so I'm going to take some GSC and I'll show you um, what it looks like next to some GSC. So here's the aircraft with uh, GSC. So there, you can see the pushback tug um, works, same as any other. The stair truck does work with this. Actually, I put it a little too high. It does work, but it looks... Pathetic and stupid. 
Um, fuel truck obviously fits under the wing. Now this was expected. These two um, luggage cart and the baggage cart don't reach. I mean, they don't extend, so that was expected. Unfortunately, one I did think was going to work is the catering truck, but the catering truck is just short and it can't reach it. So that is a bit unfortunate. Um, so uh, that has been my review of the Lufthansa 747-8 uh, by Gemini Jets, May 2020 release. And at the time of filming this, this is the first on YouTube. So uh, this is Gemini Jets 2006, signing off.